all hand painted or is it is it screen printed from like CVS or something? No, it's all hand painted and yeah, this is all my art. Okay. Yeah. It's all hand done or hand drawn. It's from different years. Like, this, these are from 2013 and these are from 2017. Okay. There's some newer art. Yeah, it's all mine. It's just from different, different years. Yeah. Okay, cool. Is this thing is it new or is this what is this it? yeah uh, a company called new wave put these out uh, this one is a couple of years old now this was this was either the first the second one they did the first the other one was centipede mm -hmm. now they've done uh, about six or seven of them the last one they did was actually dragon's leg really uh, yeah uh, well I haven't, I I haven't I seen the Kubert one yeah I haven't seen that one yet but this one uh, I was surprised when they were when they're new. They're like one hundred and twenty nine dollars or something like that. But this one, because they pick a game, they produce it, they sell it, and it's gone. So these are going for three hundred fifty bucks on eBay right now. So those are your books. You wrote those books. Yeah. So it's basically all about uh, toys that made it to a certain point in the production phase, but for whatever reason never made it to store shelves. So it's all unproduced stuff. Oh, really? So, like this first one, this is the book we came out in 2017. So one of the first chapters in there is uh, the Dark Crystal toys from 83 that, uh, that Hasbro was going to produce, but ultimately never put them out. Which is neat because way back in 83 they were going to do a build a crystal concept where a piece of the crystal came with each of the figures kind of like what Marvel Legends does now but this is a this is a early 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 version of a build a figure type thing okay are you doing a, a, a monthly magazine bi-monthly bi quarterly monthly. Yeah. And, you, and it's a legit magazine. You were making, you're bringing the magazine back. It is a back. legit magazine. No, no online nonsense. No online. You can yeah, yeah. read this in the toilet without having to drop your phone That's in right. it. Worry That's about right. dropping your phone. We started last fall. First issue. We're on issue five now. This one's actually shipping out Monday, so it's hot off the press. This is going to be the first issue that's going to be available in Barnes & Noble stores. Okay. Cool. And Books A Million. But uh, the idea, I'm, I'm just trying to drive people to subscribe to it um, because that's how I make the most money of course but, yeah but um, it's cool it's just neat to see a magazine yeah again, I mean right? that was like, one of the things where I mean we lost the last magazine uh, aimed at toy collectors almost 10 years ago now. Really? Uh, toy fair Lee's Tomarts they're all gone so uh, with the nostalgia wave riding so high for almost everything now I was like well let's see if the nostalgia wave rides high enough to accommodate a print magazine again yeah and so far so good a lot of people have really uh, reacted great to it and it seemed to have struck a chord with with folks who miss this sort of thing yeah absolutely so how how long did it take you to just even put the concept together and get the funding and everything this seems like well we did I, I funded it myself uh, and we did the whole thing. I launched, I announced it last, Fe not this past February, but February of last year. Mm -hmm. And then we rolled up through summer and then I released this in September. So it went really fast. Uh, I had a proof of concept that I sent or that I showed a lot of folks uh, and sent out to try to get feedback from people in the toy company, people I've met by, by putting these books together. Okay. And uh, everyone was like, yeah. I mean, I took a trip out to California, met with Playmates and Mattel and uh, Nacelle and a couple of uh, Super 7. And most of the people I've met with said, yeah, I goes, you know, walk out of here knowing that you at least have a advertiser, which was great because I was taking them, I could, you know, just a concept, I had zero, subscribers I had zero distribution 
but they believed in the project enough to go ahead and sign up to advertise. Wow, and so, that's super you know, cool. Since, since we've launched, Super 7 has had the inside cover. Uh, Loyal Subjects has had the, uh, the front page. And then uh, Playmates took the inside back cover. And then Big Bad, and they're they're coming out with new okay yeah turtles and then Big Bad Toy Store took the back cover, so I mean it was it was really humbling that they were they were uh, ready to go ahead and you know financially support something when I couldn't show them any numbers, but now you know I can show them that hey we've worked all the way through we're getting in Barnes and Noble you know. Uh, Big Bad Toy Store has done most of the bulk of the selling of the back issues for me, and I know that they've sold, man, they probably are approaching a thousand copies of this. Oh, wow. Um, I know it's at least probably seven to eight hundred of, the, of just number one, but they're stocking them all. Uh, so how long before your toy collector magazine becomes a collectible in itself? Right. I mean, well, that's part of the thing. I mean, I went over, there's a guy yeah. right across from me over here. I don't know if you can see it. But see those Nintendo Power magazines? Oh, yeah, those yeah, yeah. Slapped and graded, for Christ's sake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and he's got, I think there's a $600 or $700 price tag on that. Hey, if I can aspire to do something like that, yeah. that'd be great. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a quality magazine, And that man. was the idea, right? We wanted them to be collectible in and of themselves. So when, you know, you have it on your bookshelf, you know, you have it sitting there, you can see, you know, what's in each issue, which yeah. issue it is, and you can pull it. Yeah, it's, a, it's a squared off. Yeah, perfect. It's squared off spine, right? So yeah, yeah. It's, no, it's not it's like not a staple, magazine it's staple, yeah. yeah. And so that, that, yeah, that's so that's way cleaner. You could actually read the. So we wanted it to be able to, you know, I, same, uh, same. I wanted to do with the books. I wanted to produce something collectors would be proud to have in their collections. Yeah. So if you collect the Simpsons, this is the one for you. If you collect, so I'm going backwards. So. Old six million dollar man. Yeah, so we have like a, custom, a guy who does customizing uh, column for us. Uh, we got some general toy columns in there. Are those micronauts? Which ones? Are those micronauts? Those, these are, are, are play on micronauts that uh, Fresh Monkey Fiction is doing oh, okay. as part of their Eagle Force line, I think. It's kind of a homage. Mm, cool. Super neat. Only available in real life. That's right. Oh. Hey, how you doing? Have a good day. Hey, you too. Thanks. Like this one, for example, is a foreign one. So we have Mortal Kombat 1, 2, Ultimate 3, and Killer Instinct. Mm -hmm. And so it's more bang for your buck to put it on one collection. And um, they all have a menu system. So you just, this is the menu screen. You push any button to pass it. And then you can scroll through the games that you want to play. And then you just press one of your buttons and it takes you into that game. Okay, cool. And these are all like these aren't these aren't re cased or anything. These are all brand new, right? Right, Correct. right. Correct. Right. So they're yeah, not... they're all brand new and I uh, control my own shell, mold, label, and PCB. So everything that I have for sale is guaranteed for 30 years. Really? Yes sir. Oh man. And then my I... N64s get free updates for life for the fan made games. So whenever it's updated, I can you know, just send it in for free. I'll send it right back. So your wait, your N sixty fours? Like what you saw a special N sixty four? Well, I have these N sixty four. Oh, the games. Right oh, yes, I, I thought you were talking about the console. I'm sorry, I'm so down. No, totally fine. You're talking about the cards. Okay. So, cool. We have a wide variety of fan mades and English translations and custom compilations just overall. So what got you doing this? What 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 made you decide like, oh, I got a great idea to 
take um, old video games and well i grew up in like the arcade world and so um i already had a love of games and then whenever the arcades kind of went away obviously these came in and then my dad and i we got online one year um, and we saw this game it's called um, it's called uh, Richard Dinosaur Land, and it was a Mario remake. And we had so much fun playing it that we were like, maybe other people like it, and maybe there's a market. And so we started making them, and it's just spread ever since. Mm, you don't look like you're old enough to know what a, an arcade is. I'm, yeah, I'm 33. Oh, okay. Oh, well, yeah, that's what. I didn't think they had arcades way back then. I, I thought they were done already by the whole Pokemon voice uh, actually, actually, well, I actually have an arcade running minutes. still in Longview. Five minutes until really? For the Pokemon. Yeah, I actually have that one running, and then I have animal. arcade games just in uh, storage rooms that I need to get out and put in my house. <laughs> <laughs> So is it like a barcade or is it like an arcade, 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 like a nickel nickel or something like that? It really is an arcade, it's in the mall. Mm -hmm. So um, people come in, they, we have ticket games and we have just, you know, regular cabs in there as well. Okay, so. and they pay a quarter to play and... Pretty much, yeah. We're, we're not raking over the coals, we don't have anything fancy, it's just quarters. Right on. Very yeah. cool. Well, thank you very much. This yes, is super interesting. I had no idea. Yeah, we do um, Super Nintendo, we do N64, we do Master System, Game Gear, Jaguar, um, Turbo Graphics, and oh, and 32X. Okay, awesome. Thanks so much. Yeah, thank you. Yep. So, did you make all this yourself? What are these? What is this? Is this 3D printed? No, it's a uh, laser cut. Okay. That's super cool.